So now we are going to discuss this last part that is the timeline. This basically is used for animation providing keyframes and other things. So how long our animation should be basically how many frames are there. It allows us to set keyframes and watch the basic movements and all. Start and end I can provide from here and so many other things. For example, we wanted to rotate this monkey so I could simply say I could set the keyframe over here and then I could set another keyframe over here and say let us rotate it on Z by 60 degrees and I insert another keyframe over here so you you could see that we can receive some kind of animation from here so many other things can be done we can copy paste and move the keyframes and also basically while animating for every object that you select you can see its keyframes and other settings from here so this is our timeline which can be used for that purpose this is not the only one which is used for animation there are other things but for the time being we are just discussing the windows which are visible by default okay so that's it about the different sections of our blender interface the default